Um, if you guys hear the wind outside, I'm sorry, but it's super, super windy. Um, I just opened the window to see like how windy it actually is. And seriously, I felt dust go all over my face. So I feel like I have to wash my face again. Um, also, excuse the towels. I'm just gonna leave them there. Usually I just take them down and put them on the floor, but that's the, you know, that's the reality. I have towels hanging. Um, ah, I think I have dust in my eye. Oh, I really did. Ah, but my ears are like popped. I can hear myself talking. Uh, 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 let's just keep rolling. Um, so today what I'm doing, also I'm wearing our new um, Billy like tank top. It's really cute. I'm wearing it as loungewear, but you can honestly just put a little cute jacket over it and make it like to go out. It does have a scoop back, it's really cute. Um, I have it in black and in beige. So if you guys want it, it's on our website for 12 bucks. And I think I'm just gonna do free shipping all of February because I love you guys. Is that weird? Okay. Anyways, let's just keep going. I'm gonna wash my beauty blender because it's disgusting. This beauty blender is not a beauty blender. It's the e.l.f. Um, it's the e.l.f. sponge, but it's so good, you guys. I think I like it better than the Real Techniques, which I like the Real Techniques better than the beauty blender. So I... I like it better than Beauty Blender. It's only $3, I think, or $5. My sister-in-law gave it to me for Christmas. And it's white, like, come on, aesthetically pleasing. I'm literally just using a bar of soap and washing it because it's gross. So look, it looks like this. I mean, those are stains. Really? Also, we still have, I'm just gonna dry it with a towel. Um, we still have we, ha we still haven't put our stuff in our room. It doesn't stain. Um, we still haven't put our stuff in our room, so it's like an echo. So if you hear my dog barking, it sounds echoey. It's because of that. So yeah, I use this. And then, what am I gonna do? Oh, so it's been a while since I actually put lotion on my face or moisturizer. Um, so I'm just gonna spray my face again. Um, ugh. This is the Tarte um, Miracuja Miracle Mist. It's all right. I got it in my BoxyCharm. Um, and I ran out of my Morphe one, which is my favorite one. Um, so I'm going to use the Porefessional Primer Santo. Um, this stuff is like old school, but I still think it's really good. I like the hydrating one better, to be honest. I accidentally bought the regular one instead of the hydrating one because this one feels really silicone-y. But for me, recently I've been getting like, my skin is clear, but since I'm so white, my, um, my cicatrices, how do you say cicatrices? scars, um, get really red. So like right here, I literally don't have anything, but I have a bunch of scars. And this has been helping with any like texture, like to fill it in kind of. But again, it does feel silicone-y, so just heads up. Um, but I think it's still all right. The hydrating one is better in my opinion. I've been using um, the It Cosmetics CC Cream as my foundation because I think it's, I love this stuff, you guys. Um, did I just open a new one? Oh yeah. Um, I use mine in light because I'm again I'm so fair. Um, I still have some in here, but I gave this to my mom and to my aunt and to my best friend for Christmas. And you guys, honestly, watch. See how like it looks like I have a bunch of texture. I kind of put a lot. I think I don't know. And then I just start blending it, and it makes my face look so smooth. Like look at that. Oops, that is a lot on this side. Um, I'm you guys. I'm using you guys as a mirror, so because this door is my mirror on the other side. But if I have it closed, then I have nowhere to put you guys. I think I'm gonna start doing videos on Wednesdays because before I used to do Mondays and Wednesdays, but I think I'm just gonna do 
um wednesdays and today's monday so i think what i'm gonna do is just put myself on a schedule is fill mondays edit monday tuesday because sometimes we have things to do so if i can on a monday night i can do it on tuesday night so it won't take me that long but i could edit either or days and then upload wednesdays um usually i have drops for the store on fridays but ugh, you guys it hasn't been doing that well lately so i think i want to try doing new arrivals for the store on wednesdays just because i feel like fridays people are like oh the weekend and like i don't know not as bored to be honest like browsing and stuff um so because I actually read that somewhere that it was like, I don't remember who said it, but it was like a article on how to get like, how to be strategic with like sales. And it said, don't do it on weekends because people are just busy that they just, they're not like browsing and like looking because they're not bored. So they're just not really looking. And so I'm like, maybe I should change it to Wednesdays, but I don't know. We'll see. If I do change it, I want to, maybe this week, but that means I would have to shoot. Probably start starting February, um, I'll start changing it to Wednesdays, new arrivals. So yeah, I think I'm going to switch them to Wednesdays. Um, this is a Boeing Benefit Cakeless Concealer. I used to love this when I worked at Macy's. And the beauty thing, that was like right after high school. Um... And I'm like, let me try that again because I was watching some of my old videos. And first of all, I used to do like my makeup full glam. Sorry if you guys can hear babies crying, but that's not my house. Or it's not like part of my house, so I have no control over it. But um, I used to love it when I was at Macy's and I was watching some of the videos. And like I used this in some of the videos. So I kind of want to go back. Um and like recreate some of my old looks but to be honest i don't want to buy everything because i don't even do my makeup that often this is the first time in a long time that i actually like do my makeup like this usually i've been just doing um concealer mascara my eyebrows and that's it and that's if i do my makeup and typically on sundays when we have church but other than that i haven't even been doing my makeup but yeah, I was watching some of my old videos and it's crazy like how, I don't know you guys, I feel like if I would have never stopped doing YouTube when I, like right after high school, this probably could have already been like my career. Pero por lazy, por not prioritizing it, I, anytime, like that's always been my excuse. I get busy or like in funks and I'll just stop doing YouTube videos. But I was doing videos since like high school, like the end of, like after high school. I could have probably already had a career to be honest with YouTube, but that's what you get. Hmm. But it's never too late, guys. Don't give up. And if you guys watched, did I put this in my last video? About, I think I took it out. But last year, I kind of got discouraged. I'm using my hula. Ooh, Benefit. I guess I'm on a Benefit like kick. I didn't even realize. Um, last year, part of the reason why I stopped doing YouTube was... Did I talk about this in my last video about the 4,000 hours and the 1,000 subscribers? I don't remember. I know I talked about it, but I don't know if I left it or I took it out of the video because my video was long last week. Last week. Um, anyways, I got discouraged because I wanted to hit a thousand subscribers and at least halfway or something with the 4,000 hours. Um, and I didn't, so I got discouraged. It was 4,000 hours. I thought it was 400, but it's 4,000. And I wasn't even close. I think I was like yeah, at a thousand or like less than a thousand. Like there was no way. Um, so I was discouraged. And I just stopped doing YouTube. Like, that was another reason why I just stopped making videos. Because I'm like, but I get, like, <laughs> but, you know, it's true when they say don't get caught up in the numbers. Because you get caught up and then now you're not even doing it, like, for fun. So, I think I'm going kind of fast. <laughs> I'm not taking my time. Still looks fine. Does it? Let me see. Wow. Lighting really does make a difference. <laughs> 
God. Okay, well, it looks fine, I think. Hi, puppy. I don't know if I was talking about it. I don't, I don't remember. But we're renovating our, like, my, my office slash, like, dressing room and our master bedroom. And I'm really, like, organizing and, like, formatting the layout of the room. And I think it's going to be so exciting. Um, I have been recording. I have been taking pictures so I can make, like, a full-on video of it. Um, but maybe this video, depending how long it is, or next video, I'll do, like, an update. Of So far, it's, like, completely empty. But I have mapped out, like, where my desk is going, where the shelves are going, where I'm going to be taking pictures now for the store. So I'm excited. Um... Because right now I have stuff everywhere. Like, I cannot do a house tour right now because it's a disaster. Like, sorry if you guys can hear them. <laughs> um, but I'm so excited because I think it's going to look so cool and exciting. Um, I originally am doing what I didn't want to do because it was kind of a waste of space to some extent. But I think it'll be more efficient and more useful to be honest so i'm just gonna do it and if it doesn't work out then i can always change it but i'm excited because it's gonna look so cute and if you guys know me i love arches like arched anything i'm a sucker for it and guess what ah, i'm so excited i won't that's all i'll say there may or may not be an arch somewhere in the room and i'm so stoked um but i think you guys will like and i think it'll be a fun video um, but this is already like 17 minutes, so probably next video. I'm just going to line my lips because I look crazy with no lips and no eyebrows. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited for you guys to see the room. Um, this is a NYX London. You guys, I feel like my mom. Like my mom used to wear stuff like this and she would do this. Like I... As I, yeah, I remember my mom. This was my mom's like go to work outfit a shirt like this, her hair like this, and like a little bit of makeup. I feel like my mother. I should do, you know what would be so cool? Like finding old pictures of my mom and trying to recreate like her pictures because I feel like the style, this is darker than I wanted, the style that my mom had is kind of what's trending right now like the hair clips and like the rib shirts and like the high-waisted jeans and of course like not just my mom i'm sure a lot of people did that but my mom was definitely one of them hold on oopsies that looks weird oops that that was a huge fail okay wait I can't really see what I'm doing. <laughs> it looks like I have beacles. Oh, I don't want that on. Um, I think that would be a cool video, don't you guys think? Like recreating my mom's videos. Um, okay, let me do my eyebrows real quick because I can't do that on camera and it's already like super long. So I'm just gonna do my eyebrows and then I'll come back. Okay, so I just did my eyebrows. They look a little crazy. But I'm just going to use my Hoola bronzer. I've been using this as eyeshadow and I think it looks like cute. Because um, it's not too much and it just gives me like some color since I'm so light skinned. Um, but it's just going to give me some, a little something something. I can't decide if I want to do lashes today or if I don't. I kind of want to because if I do end up doing it. I want to look kind of presentable, you know? Um, wow, lighting really does look different. Holy moly, guacamole. Um, can you guys hear that wind? Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna use my mascara. I thought I had lashes. Holy moly, moly. Yeah, let's just do these ones. Ellie, please don't bark me. It's the wind. It's the wind. In and out. Also, you guys, I think I have to go back to work. Well, I don't I don't think I have to go back to work. And I'm thinking in and out because I don't want to do full time 
because um, obviously I still want to do centered and that's like my priority right now. Um, but of course, like I want to be able to help because we want to buy another house eventually soon, not this year, but soon. Um, and I have to go to back, go back to work because that's only fair, you know? Um, so I'm thinking in and out because I've been in and out. I know what I'm doing. It's not like this whole new, like learning a job and my company where I was at, I'll tell you guys, um, was, I don't know, actually, should I tell you guys? Iron Grip, Barbell, they do all the like lifts, all the weights for gyms and military and like they're at like every 24 hour, like the things that you, you go when you're at the gym and you, yeah, I used to work at that company. Um, and they're back working, but they're not fully back, I think. Um, and I had only been there less than a year, so I'm if they were to call me back, I'd be one of the last ones. But, um, uh, so I don't think I'm gonna go be going back to that place. Um, and if I do, I don't really want to either because I it's full time, it's not even the place. The place was awesome, the people were cool, I loved it there. Um, but it was just right now, you know, we don't really know what's going on. Plus, it's full time. Um, I kind of want to do something part time where I can do centered, I can have. Um, at least Sundays off. I'm willing to work Saturdays, just Sundays, preferably not. Um, and you know, if it's full time, I have to go Monday, Friday from eight in the morning to five, which that's my whole daylight. Um, and I need at least one day of daylight to shoot because Sundays we're at church. By the time we're done, like we typically just hang out for a little boy, little bit, and like we could shoot, but that's Isaac's like day off and he works a lot more than I do and like just a lot in general which I don't want to like make him shoot on like a day off because he works Saturdays and Mondays so it's like that's like his day off right in the middle of his like work week um so I don't I feel bad doing that but yeah I prefer doing part-time right now and I think in and out is a good place because I already know what I'm doing I can bounce up to the top at least because at in and out what they do is you get hired and then you go from level to level to level as you learn it i was already literally at the the top level before becoming management and i said skirt i don't want to do management so i just i was there for a little bit and then that's when i left um but i think i can like go there and i can just kind of in a couple months go up to that level again um and obviously with every level there's a race so it's like a little bit more money um so i think i kind of want to do that the only thing honestly and it's like a petty thing and i told my dad and my dad's like are you kidding are you for real it's like you need to go back there um is i don't want to smell bad <laughs> like that's the one thing i'm working at in and out when you work there you smell like onion well for me because i used to do all the onion and the lettuce and tomato like all the produce i did that and you smell like onion and you smell like burgers and like ugh. and that's the only reason why i'm like i don't want to go back but my dad's like and isaac also they're like you just, just freaking go to work <laughs> so mm, that's where that's what that's what that's how i feel Plus, like, I don't know if I want to go back to, because I was thinking, what if I go to retail? But I don't know if they'd hire me at retail because I own a boutique. Like, it's technically, like, of course, it's not, like, it's not even close to a competition. But I don't think they see it as competition. I think they see it as, like, taking, you know, sales st st strategies and, like, the way they do things. I think that's why they wouldn't hire me because you know and technically i don't really have to tell them but if they you know they look at your stuff and if they look at my stuff they're gonna see that i own a clothing boutique so that's the only reason plus like i don't know it just i don't know um so yeah i'm thinking of going back to in and out um and we'll see what happens but oh um, so like I said a little bit ago, we do want to buy our own house or another house or our own house. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll explain it. Um, 
soon not this year probably not 2021 but hopefully 2022 um just because like i said in the last video we did buy a house and we are owners of the house but we're co-owners like it's not just isaac and i it's also um his sister and her husband so we don't like yes we all own the house but um like it's not just our house it's not just their house like we we both live in one house but it's technically two houses um but you can still you know they can hear us we can hear them um so that's why i said like i don't have you know control over that because it's not only my house like they obviously live there too um so that's why i said the the if you hear something don't like i don't have control over it but we do want to buy our own house because where we are right now it's perfect it's like the perfect house for us we have a master bedroom we have my office we have a huge living room um a perfect kitchen we have like a little outside area like it's perfect for the two of us these are too massive i think um it's like perfect for isaac and i actually i kind of like how this looks um like for for it to be just isaac and i it's perfect like it's more than enough space like it's perfect but it's not big enough to have kids it's not big enough to have kids and the store and just our personal stuff so that's something we want to do um we want to buy our own house like just him and i um hopefully soon because again we don't want to have kids like we want to have kids soon um ish like a year two years um so we want to be able to have that for them and for ourselves um so yeah that's why i have to go to work and like it's only fair right like it's not fair for me to just be chilling while isaac um goes to work so that's not fair if the store was doing better and if the store can pay me and if the store could um support itself of course i'd probably be able to do that but right now it doesn't right now it's still a small business right now it's um right now it's just barely making it like like it's fine but it's like what i make i rebuy and then from that i rebuy and we're only saving like a little bit because right now i'll be honest with you guys right now i'm saving for taxes because it's the first time we're doing taxes we don't really know what to expect um, the second thing is we save just a tiny, like a little bit because we want to be able to rebuy more stuff. Um, but that's it right now. Like our biggest saving is for ta taxes. Once we figure that all out and we have the exact number, then we'll see if we're screwed. We have to pay more or we have enough to just keep saving more. So that's kind of what we are. But right now with the store, I do not pay myself. I don't make enough to pay myself. Um, or the store doesn't make enough to pay itself. Um, I am an LLC, so it's not like, it's its own identity. Like, Centered is not under me. Centered is not under, like, it doesn't legally associate associate with me. Um, if it's a sole proprietorship, it would be using, like, my social, my information. Um, so, because it's an LLC, it technically has its own, it's not a social, like, it's not considered a social security number, but it's, like, a business license number or an EIN number. So, it has its own, its own everything. Um, so, I don't do taxes with Center. Like, I do my taxes as myself and my husband, and then just a whole different account is centered. So, that's something we're, I don't even know how we, I started talking about this, but that's the truth and oh because i have to go back back to work so yeah um so centered is not doing well enough right now where i can pay myself and live off of that um and i think it's okay like i've only been open less than a year so if it was the case of course that'd be amazing but it's not the reality for me right now so of course i have to go back to work and I, of course i don't want to because i love being at home but it's not fair like it's at the end of the day it's not fair um wait i'm like almost done i haven't even put highlighter on found it um i'm gonna put a little bit of blush also um i'm using the fenty beauty i got this you guys i haven't been buying makeup recently like it, it's broken what the fruit 
Oh, how did that happen? <sighs> well, anyways, what I was saying is that I haven't been buying makeup recently. All the makeup I've been getting is through my um, boxy charm, and I got Fenty in my boxy charm, so I was like so excited. Um, how did this happen? Um, so yeah, I got my uh, Fenty stuff, this, um, it's the one that's in Ginger Beige and Moscow Mule, um, and it's really pigmented, so I have to be very, and it's so hard to open, you guys, honestly, like, I can never open this, um, there, look, it broke, um, I have to be super gentle with it because... Like, it's super pigmented. And it's super pretty, but yeah, super pigmented. Now I'm going to use a MAC Soft and Gentle. This was in my BoxyCharm. I actually bought this because I love this stuff. Um, I forgot what I was saying. My ears are still popped. Like, I don't know why. Wow, I actually look nice. <laughs> like, I actually look presentable. You guys, for real, I haven't been doing my makeup like that. That's why I'm kind of shook. Um, but here, let me see in the sun. How does it look? Wow, look at the lighting difference. And look at my hair. I'm excited. That looks good. Um, let me just brush some of these soon. Woohoo! Okay. Tease, now I look glowy. Um, do you guys see my outfit? Let me go show you the room real quick so you guys can see. Um, this is our bedroom. Uh, actually, it's a disaster. I'll give you, because I got a bunch of stuff for the store for Valentine's Day. So it's like, a, just it's just a big mess in there. Um, but I'll show you my room. So I don't like just completely view hanging. Um, we did paint that wall um, like a beigey color. So it's going to be like an accent wall. Um, wow, my makeup looks muddy in this room. <laughs> this is where I'm shooting. Um, but yeah, so we put floors. We put... We painted the baseboard, we painted that. We're gonna be changing this fan eventually um, once it comes in, but right now it's gonna be a while. We also got a new rug in here. Um, what else? Everything else is gonna stay the same besides obviously that paint, the rug and the floor. That's gonna be the biggest difference, but I think it's gonna be a big difference. Um, so we're excited to finally be putting the stuff back in. My room, um, it's just a big disaster right now. You can't, like, it's just, I can't fully show you. Um, but let me show you my outfit real quick. Um, let me just pull this over. Okay. Here's the room. It's a mess. But here's my outfit. I'm wearing my Nike slides for Christmas. Then I'm wearing my top, the one I told you um, that is uncentered. And then this are the also uncentered. They're, um, what are they called? Oh, I forgot the name of them. Wow. I'll put it right here. But they're also from center. They're super big and like loungy and like flowy. They're so perfect. I love them. Um, but yeah, this is my lounge, lounging around the house. Um, but I think it's super cute. It looks like these.